Hi folks, welcome back to Physics with Captain Rod. The purpose of this video is to uh, talk about what uncertainty is and uncertainty within a measurement and how it relates to a quantity called least count. So what we're looking at here, we're looking at some sort of a ruler here that I've kind of made up. You know, not all, not all rulers look exactly the same. Some of them measure metrics, some in English and some both. So imagine we're looking at this ruler and it goes to what, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, about five centimeters and the left hand side is you know over to the left somewhere. In all measuring instruments um, <clears throat> have what's called a least count and the least count is the smallest unit that the instrument uh, has a measurement for. So these hash marks here are basically one centimeter hash marks. So this is 21, 22, 23, etc. So those hash, hash marks uh, represent one centimeter. So the least count of this instrument is one centimeter. Right? Now, sometimes you'll look at a ruler and it'll have 10 divisions between these. You know, if we had 10 marks in between these guys, then the least count would be 0.1 centimeters and so forth. All right, so the least count is the smallest quantity that the instrument has uh, measurements for. Now, the instrument can measure length, it can measure mass, it can measure anything. Now, we talk a little bit about uncertainty here. So here's some sort of object, and let's imagine that we're going to try to measure the length of this object with my... Uh, make-believe ruler here. So we would probably take this object right, and we would uh, maybe move it close to the ruler. Now imagine that the other end of this over on the left hand side uh, corresponds perfectly to zero centimeters. All right, and now we're going to try to use this ruler here to measure the length of this object. Now when we look at the end of this, right, this hash mark here represents 31 centimeters, this one is 32 centimeters. The length of this object, whatever it is, it is it's definitely greater than 31 centimeters, but it's less than 32 centimeters. So what we might do is we might take a guess at it. Now, I can see visually it's a little bit more than halfway, so I may, my guess might be something like, oh, maybe 31.7 centimeters. Now, somebody else with better eyesight might say 6, and somebody else might say 8. This value here is a guess, but it is better than leaving it blank, and it is, in fact, you can see from the picture, it definitely is more than 0.5. The next decimal here, there's pretty well no way we can, uh, using the instrument here, get a guess at the next value. So this measurement is a measurement that has three significant figures. A significant figure, if you haven't seen my video on significant figures, it's a, um, it's all the digits that have some actual meaning for your measurements. So for example, to put a two and then a three or a seven after this, these things wouldn't have any meaning at all because the instrument is only allowing us to take a guess to the 0.7 centimeter mark. Right. Now, the actual length could be a little bit more than that, could be a little bit less than that. So the actual length of this object is 31.7 centimeters plus or minus some small amount that we don't know about. And for now, I'm just going to call that a delta L. That delta L is the uncertainty in the measurement. Now, as far as, well, how large could the delta L be? Well, a good place to start for the uncertainty in a measurement is half the least count. So in this example, we may say, well, the uncertainty here, we believe, is 0.5 centimeters. And what we'd be saying is this measurement is somewhere between 31.2 and I guess uh, 32.2 centimeters. Now, half the least count is just a good place to start. If you have more confidence in your measurement, you may decide that that uncertainty is a little less here. I can definitely see that this value is less than uh, 32. So it looks to me like a reasonable value for the uncertainty might be something like 0.02 centimeters. So I'd probably, if I were taking this measurement, I would say 31.7 uh, centimeters plus or minus maybe 0.02 centimeters. And what I'd be saying is that I'm confident that the measurement is between 31.5 and 31.9 centimeters. We may look at this and say, ah, we can probably do better than that. You know, if you have really good eyesight, you may say 0.015 centimeters or something like that. So 
to answer the question, what is the, le the, what is the uncertainty? It is the um, possible range, if you will, of the actual length against your measurements. So it's this value here. You know, this measurement here, I'm coming in at 31.7 centimeters, could be a little more, could be a little less. The how much more or how much less, that's the uncertainty in the measurement. Now, where you get that, you will typically get that from the instrument you are using. If you had a micrometer, you'd get much more accuracy here, so this, this would be much smaller. And you typically start with half of the least count of the instrument. In this case, the least count was one centimeter. So I started with uh, uncertainty of maybe 0.5 centimeters. However, inspecting the measurement here, and I've got reasonable eyesight still, uh, I decided to use uncertainty of about 0.02 centimeters. It's important that you know how to choose a value here so that you know the actual measurement is within this range. Now, sometimes your uncertainty ends up larger than the least count. So, you know, an example of that, well, maybe we're trying to measure the diameter of a sphere. And we take measurements across here, across here, across here. And we get measurements like, you know, 2.83, and then another one of 2.96, then another one of 2.75. You know, the geometry might be a little bit irregular. And even though we have an instrument that's allowing us to uh, take guesses at the hundredth place here, meaning that the least count is probably the 0.1 spot here, the uncertainty may be quite a bit larger than that due to irregularities in the geometry. So the least count itself doesn't nail down exactly what the uncertainty in the measurement is all the time. You have to take into account how good you are with the instrument, um, how regular the measurements are and repeatable and things like that. So anyway, the purpose of this video is to describe what uncertainty is, what least count is, and hopefully we have an idea now. Have a great day.